Is early game a meme in Fire Emblem Engage? I personally think it is. As someone who's beaten this game multiple times on Maddening, uh, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of the early game. So this is no DLC, no XP farming, just using units. If I throw like an emblem on a unit, so for example, if I Makayad Anna to level 10, she just healed and then great sacked when it was available. It didn't do XP farming or grinding. So let's see what kind of results we can get. So this Anna just became a Mage Knight. I put Leaf on her. She has, she has some stuff going on. Let's see what we can do here. So I can throw her, I throw her here. She can just wait. And then we can do, we can do something like this. We can use our Chain Guarders. Let's see what kind of results we can get, right? It's all about the results in this game. If you can do something well, <laughs> you should do it. So we're going to attack a bunch of dudes. We're just, we're, I actually reduced the deploy slots. Cause I feel like early game, you don't need that many deploy slots. All right, so Chloe just one shots a guy, just repositions. All right, let's see what kind of results we get from this very aggressive play. Uh, honestly, running the other units is kind of like a waste. I'm not even using all the engage rings too. I'm not, Roy isn't equipped right now. No one has Roy. Everyone has an engage ring, but no one has Roy. All right. I always skip this. <laughs> right, here we go. All right, they're going after Jade. Very standard. Very standard Jade attack. But let's see what Chloe can do. All right, here's Anna. All right, one round's that. <laughs> Immediately. She's she's good immediately. I don't know. Here's Chloe. Just one rounding those easily. She, if she didn't crit there, she would have doubled that and killed it anyways. Just like with this one. She she keeps 69ing them. That's funny. And she kills that. She kills that. One thing I'm kind of tired of seeing is people saying like, oh, X unit is bad in early game. And it's like, I don't know, man. Early game is super easy. Like, Anna just dodge tanked two enemies and had two chain guards anyways, and she wouldn't have even have died either. She can actually tank all three of those enemies on Leaf, funny enough. I, I feel like early game is a meme, and I don't think enough people mention this. Some people treat early game like it's super difficult, but it's not. <laughs> it's like, it's a meme for sure. Um, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's actually quite easy. The early game in this game is very easy. And I can prove it. With science. Alright, I can set up a kill on this too. Check this out. Warp rag. Chloe last hits. Look at this. Look at the technology. The Chloe technology. Jade's already almost saved. I'm trivializing the map this early. Uh, Anna can rotate in here. Get into the woods a bit. Attack. Get a kill. 21 damage plus a break. She cleans up her own kill. Uh, Jean can just pop and then heal. He might as well go in too. Well, maybe not. Actually, yeah, he should go in if he gets hit. If he gets hit, he can heal himself by healing someone else that's next to him. But I want to dispel the myth right some people think early game is hard maybe they just don't understand how to min max early game which could be you know that's fine you don't have to know how to min max it but it's not that hard to build hard carries early if you know which units to invest in and how to make them and even without like the well weapons and the hero weapons you can still like this is 11 sword this is a base no dlc or updates anna uh the well update gives her the ability to get sword power but she's one rounding things without sword power here so, like, the sword power is not putting her into lethal threshold. <laughs> like, she's still she's one-rounding a mage right now with Leaven Sword. It's that, it's that good of a weapon. And I believe she gets speed plus one when she levels up on... This is fixed mode. So she can one-round... Uh, let's get... Let's kill this one. Let's one-round the armor. She can one-round that. She almost levels up. She's getting there. And then we just need people to get some kills here. Kill this. Like, it's not... The early game is very easy. And if you just have... If you just feed a Leer, don't feed Vander kills, don't feed anyone else kills. Just feed a Leer, you'll get these results pretty easily, pretty consistently. You will get them consistently on fixed mode. If you feed Anna, if you feed Chloe, you will get crazy units. Very easily. <laughs> so here she is, look at this. Easily dropping this guy. 
Like it's there's so much oh, there's so much excess damage, and this can be achieved with a steel spear too, a steel lance. You don't necessarily need the um, hero weapons. They're just cool. I just like them aesthetically. They're not necessary, though. All right, that's Great Sack. It's free XP as well. You just keep Great Sacking as long as you have it. Easy way to power level your units. This is why I say Jean is a free unit. He can just be a staff utility, and he can throw Makai on him once Anna's done with it. That's how I always use it. Fram can use Recover here for free. This is big XP. Like it's, you basically can get tons of XP without even trying to. All right, so now Jade is basically saved. And anyway, I have two chain guarders too. So if I combine chain guard with an avoid tile, it makes whichever unit that's being chain guarded very hard to hit. And if they do get hit, they usually tank it. So some tactics. All right, we're almost to Jade. And then anyone can kill this. I'll have Anna kill this, why not? I want to get her... She'll get speed plus one when she levels up, so I'm trying to get her level up. She can one round and double all those armors, too. And they, this map is, like, mostly armors, like, at this point. So, like, in the second half of the map, she really shines. But just with, like, a speed plus two tonic and leaf, she can double everything except for the 12 speed enemies. And obviously, Kigetsu. No one can double him this early. <laughs> you can load star him, though. Should you choose. Alright, and then if I want, I can pull Kigetsu now. You can pull him on this tile. And double Chain Guard. So that nothing can hit the unit. Chain Guard actually works on consecutive attacks. So like if a dude... Alright, so she's going to one run this. He shouldn't double her. I think she's 18 speed and he's 22. So she's just barely at the threshold of not getting doubled by him. Yeah. So now he's easily killed. But Chain Guard and just, st like, strong units, like, it's just so powerful. And I'm not even being, like, passive here either. Like, I'm being fairly aggressive. I dived two sides immediately, and I pushed into them. So it's not like I'm playing in a way where I'm, like, turtling or something. Look, at, Dude, look at Jade get a kill there! Oh my god! Look at Jade pop off. Look at her. She doesn't care. <laughs> She's she's decided that's what she's gonna do she's gonna pop off I can't make it to the one dude okay so I don't think I'm gonna be using Jade I might let her sack herself to grab some things I need to get a chain guard if I want to be smart I usually oh, I usually um, override the line of these and then hit the one dude I can like pick this. I can like wait a turn if I want. I can do something like this. All right, she now has override, so she can override this flank next turn. Stay at a range. We can just like set up a trap, get our reset our chain guards. I can grab Jade too, just to keep her safe. It's very important that you keep Jade safe. It's not at all. But you can if you want to. Alright, there you go. Now we have a tank. Alright, and then Anna. We don't want those on avoid tiles. Alright, two will hit me. Let's check the damage. I might be able to tank them. Alright, that's a card. What does Zelkov do? He's pretty fast. 15 damage. 13 and 15. She actually tanks both of these as long as she doesn't get crit. Alright, check this out. Let's have her tank. Let's see what she can do. She's dueling Zelkov. <laughs> Don't crit me? Nice, dude. She set up two kills. Savage blow. Alright, these line up? Yeah, look at this. Oh the, oh, the mage didn't line up, though. I can still hit all the armors. Overriding the armors can be good. If you have, like, a flame lance or something, but it can be decent, too. Just go for big might here. No, these are all half. Okay. She can kill Zelkov. She can catch a heal. Oh, the Savage Blow kind of messed up my thing there, but do something like this. 
It's like one round this dude. I'll use Mercurius, why not? We'll Mercurius him. But I don't think like early game is ever really hard, to be honest. Like you can pretty much take it at your own pace. That's the other thing that's nice about it. All right, so hopefully she hits here. Nice, she did. She did, it's good. Killed the boss, almost leveled up, good. All right, then Fram can beat this man to death. Who said she didn't have damage? <laughs> I might tactically sack. Actually, I think you can tank this, right? Wind, 18 magic. Hitting against 9 res. What's the might on this? I think the might is low. I think it doesn't deal that much damage. She can probably tank it. Alright, now... Might as well do this. I think Chloe can actually tank the wind. Pretty sure she can. Here, you can tank those. Let's discover. Yeah, he goes for that. Flame Lance for Chip. Yeah, wind for 17. She even tanks her weakness. It's so silly. Oh, she might be a victim of success, though. She might kill too many of them. Well, let's see. She got some speed, and so that makes her more dodgy. No, don't kill this. No! <laughs> All right, that one's out of range, I think. Yeah, all right, cool. We can actually move up this way. Like, I don't have to fight all these. I can, like, attack. Uh, I can use Repair. So that way, when the armors attack me, I tank them. Some Spirit Dust. She can Javelin. Maybe not. Here, let's do this. Let's move little Anna up here. Start getting some kills. All right, so she, now she gets her speed, I think. Huge, yeah, look at that, speed. She got strength, that doesn't matter in this class. Some HP. He can go over here and just Great Sack. Let's heal everyone. And then she can heal up here. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Maybe Mend. Now you can Chain Guard again, like it's, I don't know. I don't understand when people make arguments that, like, early game is hard. I just don't get it at all. I feel like, like, I'm running minus so many units. And, like, just basic positioning. And I'm totally fine. Like, nothing crazy here. <laughs> just, like, using the mechanics, you know? Seem as intended, I would say. Look at that, just one round's on repair. <laughs> it's so silly. But yeah, that's it for this one. I just want to talk about the early game and kind of dispel some myths. We'll call this like Mythbusters. Early game is hard. Something like that. Because it's it's not. Like once you understand the game and the mechanics, early game should be the easiest part of the game consistently. Outside of maybe certain chapters before you have builds online. But there's map tactics to easily beat those. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy these breakdown type videos. And I'll see you in the next one.